Hi, I'm Chris Murray and welcome to this quick look on 3DS Max. I got this question a while back from someone about splines and I wanted to cover it here because it's I think it's a pretty common misconception about splines and spline vertices and how they work. I'm going to create a two-dimensional spline here in my Max scene and if I arc rotate around you can see it's definitely a spline there. And I'm going to make a copy of it because what I want to do is uh, possibly use the surface modifier or maybe just some other s sort of a spline cage construction. So I'm going to go ahead and convert this to an editable spline and it's basically just a spline now. I'm going to copy, uh, I'm going to select the spline at the sub-object level and I'm going to copy it up. Now what this does is this makes a duplicate of this shape but it's still one object you can notice that because of the bounding boxes and, and this is important um, I'm now going to use the cross-section modifier to connect all of those points now of course this looks like a box but that's not really what this is about I'm talking about uh, vertex behavior within a spline so if I go in here and I'm gonna right click and I'm just gonna convert this all to an editable spline so this is still a spline object even though it appears to be three-dimensional if I go in and select a vertex you can see that I've got a spline vertex and if I right click on it you can see that it's a corner vertex so if I change it to smooth um, it's actually it's kind of important to know which vertex you're um, dealing with if I just kind of peel these off actually what I'm going to do is go into this segment and move it out just for the for the purposes of this discussion if I select this uh, go back to vertex mode if I select this vertex here you can see that um, it is Bezier corner and here indeed are the Bezier handle so that if I want to move these handles around you can see I can still get the curvature or if I change it to smooth it'll uh, smooth that out um, whatever uh, based on the interpret interpolation now the question that I had received was why can't I weld these vertices back together so if I wanted to say weld this vertex onto this vertex and make a solid construction spline why can't I do that well that has to do with the behavior of uh, splines mathematically this is not necessarily a limitation of 3ds max it just happens to be what spline math is all about when you create a two-dimensional spline, and I'll go ahead and create one here, you can see we're just creating a quick spline, and I'll go into vertex mode on this spline. Uh, you can see that, you know, if you're familiar with splines, you know that it has these handles where we can control the shape. Well, this is a two-dimensional mathematical spline. Um, it's constructed of a segment, which is right here, and a segment, which is right here, and so on and of course the entire spline at the sub-object mode which are all of the segments together. Vertices in splines are different than vertices in editable meshes or editable polys. This is a mathematical vertex means that the definition of the spline is based on the position of this vertex in 3D space. So we can put this vertex in 3D space and we get a curved shape going through that space and whatever our interpolation is depends on the curvature of that spline. Now the reason we cannot weld any other spline vertices on there, for example if I wanted to go back to this object and try to weld this back on here, you'll see that I can't do it. If I go into vertex mode and I'll go ahead and um, we're just going to use move and I'm going to turn on my snaps here, we're going to snap to a vertex and I'm just going to snap this right over to there. Alright, it snapped right on and I'll snap this one back on there as well. So now they're snapped on there. Um, you might think, okay, well, they are now connected. Well, indeed, that's not the case. If I turn off my snap tool, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this. this. You can see that they're still separated. And even when I select both of them and go into my um, modifier command panel and I choose weld, I'll even crank this down to zero and choose weld again, you'll notice that they don't weld. And that is because it is a mathematical definition, a mathematical part of the spline. So you can only have, with one vertex on a spline, you can only have, at most, two segments going through it. The segment on this side, in this case, the segment on this side, and the segment on this side. For an N vertex, uh, this side of the vertex, you can it has one segment coming in, but it does not have another segment going out. In this case, you can weld another uh, vertex to it, but you can only weld 
a another uh, end. We call this an endpoint vertex. So if I go over here and I bring this uh, vertex over here, and I'll go ahead and turn on my snap tool. And um, now notice you'll see down here there's a checkbox. Uh, let's find that checkbox that says automatic uh, endpoint auto welding, automatic welding. If I turn that on, it will automatically weld that. If I select it, you can now see that it says spline one, vert one selected. It's only one vertex. If I change it to smooth or uh, bezier, you can see that it's now um, acting as if it is one spline. So you can actually weld endpoint splines. But you cannot weld. Um, you can excuse me. You can weld endpoint vertices, but you cannot weld vertices uh, to another vertex that already has two segments going through it. It's just part of spline math. So hopefully this clears things up for you.